Okay, show me the peace, everybody. Show me the peace and show me the love. Peace and love. That's what we need right here in Oakland, in California, all over the world. Do you agree? Yes. We are going to have a wonderful afternoon of entertainment. And to help us get started, it's my pleasure to introduce Mr. Dan of the Oakland City Council, who's here, your elected representative, to address you today. Thank you so much. How's everybody doing? Good. My name's Dan Cobb, and I'm a, a city council member in the city of Oakland, and the district I represent includes right here, this part of North Oakland. It's really appropriate, and I think everybody knows this, that, that your, the peace train is coming to, has come to Oakland. Oakland has been at the forefront for decades uh, in the, in the movement, in movements for social justice, for equality, uh, for a number of, of important uh, uh, movements and, and efforts uh, throughout the decades, and those continue now. And I just want to um, acknowledge that how important it is to, for Oakland, as well as Berkeley and other cities, to be part of the Peace Train. And I want to thank you for, for not forgetting us and for being here and, and bringing the message to Oakland and spreading it out throughout the, our city and throughout our, the entire East Bay. Um, social justice. Um, make, sending a positive message to all of us who are policymakers, to all of us, whether in Sacramento, in Oakland, in Berkeley, in Washington, D.C. Boy, they really need a message in Washington, D.C. This is not uh, a movement that attacks or fights or has this negative way about it. It's a way to promote certain social change, uh, to make our society a better place for all of us in a very with a message that's very positive, full of love and hope and all things positive. And that means so much to all of us. We need more of that throughout our society, especially in Washington, D.C., but here in Oakland, too. So thank you all for being here, um, and, and keep on keep the movement going. And uh, thanks again. Thank you, Dan. It sounds like we need you in Washington. You know, it was just feels like just a few months ago that the head of this school here, where you are today, Park Day School, Karen Kolarik, invited Sharon and Wendy and me to come and be here with you and to do some workshops with the youth and do some workshops with teachers. And out of that, we had a conversation that was, wouldn't it be great to create a peace train right here in the East Bay. And look what's happened today. Please, I want you all to sincerely appreciate Head right here from Park Day School, Karen Fuller. Come out, Karen, so people can see you. And working tirelessly since that day to make this happen, also from Park Day School, Elisa Perez. Elisa, come out, please, we want to see you. has made every single thing happen that you have enjoyed today. Right down to the ice cream sprinkles. Thank you so much, Elisa. And you know, some of the youth came all the way from Sacramento to be here, and that's because Ms. Elena Bennett was one of those teachers in that teacher workshop. Come on up, Elena. Sacramento Country Day School. And how about Lena from Riverside Elementary School? Right? Stand up and see These are educators working probably around the clock, well beyond the hours for which they're paid, and they're not even paid well enough, um, but well beyond the hours for which they're paid to make something like this happen. And we've got a special announcement to make. This is phase one of the peace train at East Bay because Sharon and Wendy and I just came back from Southern California and we're busy organizing down there so that next year we're going to run a peace train. I hope all of you are going to be on board. We're going to go from Northern California right here all the way down to Southern California, down to San Diego, 
and then some of us are even going to go across the border to Mexico. How about that? All right, well, you know, every journey begins with a single step, and today is the single step. In fact, I think we took more than a, a single step. We walked a long time today, didn't we? These young people have been parading from Sacramento to San Pablo to Berkeley to Oakland and they have done a fabulous job. Let's give them a great big hand. And one of the things that the Peace Train is about is bringing people together so that we learn about one another, we learn about each other's languages, culture, what we like, and how we can learn to live together better. Say thank you to everybody that's participated in this. Everybody, yeah. families and parents and guardians, musicians. Put your hands together for the musicians. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we just once again, I really want to say a very special thank you to Park Day School for really picking up the mantle on this one and making it happen and saying it's going to happen. Thank you. Sacramento Country Day School. Yeah. Riverside Elementary School. Mandela to become our new president. We didn't know that everything would turn out right because there was still a lot of violence and a lot that we had to overcome to all walk together into the new South Africa. And so I wrote this song. It's called The Time is Right Today and it's still just as relevant 
here in the United States as it was back then. The time is right today. and we are so proud of you today, children. We are so proud of you because you are spreading peace. Let's give our hands and our hearts to appreciate these children right now as we bring our fearless, fearless, fearless leader here in, in Oakland, Alisa Perez, to come up here on stage and join Michi Fuentes to lead this next composition. Thank you. Being the Nivos aquí, we are all welcome here. We come from far, we come from near, and together we make this place our home. And with all our strength and with all our love, hand in hand, we break down borders. That's how we want to live. Todos somos bienvenidos aquí. Yeah. 
the words of this next song which say, the little we have, we share. We believe in sharing and caring for one another. What do you think, children? Is that right? Yeah. We taught that when we were very young, but somehow or other, that message gets forgotten along the way. So we're here to remind all those that are listening that the little we have, we share.
that's what we need. Peace all around the world. Love. Peace. Love. Peace. Thank you to Oakland and to the Bay Area. Mr. Lisa.